just really quickly doing a January haul I don't think I'm gonna have a lot here I'm filming this midway through January and it is cold so I am not going out to the stores um so I don't think I'm gonna be adding a lot onto this video but let's just start with what I have in right now um, so I picked up some latex gloves from ShopRite um, just for using for crafting. Um, they were on sale because it was Can Can at ShopRite. So I picked that up. Um, I picked up this book from Amazon. There was a book that showed you how to do fashionable items in origami. And I thought I purchased it, but I can't find it. So I was trying to find a copy of it. And I came across this book called Girligami, Girligami, it was like a kid's book. Unfortunately, this is not going to meet the needs of what I was looking for. Um, so I'm probably just gonna pass this on um, because this was not exactly what I was looking for. There's like one dress, there's one little pumps thing. And that's it. Um, I only paid about $4 for it, so it's not really a loss. But um, I'll put the link for it if you're interested in it. This wasn't really what I was looking for, so I'm going to pass this on. Um, let's see what else I have here. Um, my daughter and I did one of those TikTok challenges where you go in the store and you like follow this list. And it's like find a person something in their favorite color, find the person something you can do together, find something that reminds you of the person. So um, we did it at Dollar Tree and at Target. So my daughter picked up um, these two items from Dollar Tree for me because um, uh, she said she remembered that I made some card years ago um, with these kind of flowers. And she remembers that for me doing craft shows. Uh, and she said that she picked this because owls are wise and she always sees me as wise, especially now that I've finished school. So that was two of the things she got me. Um, and then something that she picked up for us to do together um, was this book from Target called Sketch Your Sticker, where you can, um, they're like pre-cut shapes and you can design your own sticker. So this is something for her and I to do together is make our own stickers. Um, so she got that from Target. And then I found something for us to do together in Dollar Tree, which is this Make a Face Princess Glam sticker book. Um, when my daughter was a little game, a little girl, she used to like these games on the computer where she could do the fashion and makeup um on different characters so i thought this was something like really quick that we could do together that was a little silly so i picked that up and then because i prefer mixed media paper she picked up some mixed media paper for me when it came to something that i needed um so she picked up this strathmore paper for me um so moving on from that um, I picked up another one of the um, sticker books. Um, which ones do I have? I'm trying to look at them now, but they're too far away on my bookshelf. Um, this is the sticker book of Curiosities. Um, I have a couple of other books from this series. This is by Peter Pauper Press. Um, they actually put out a couple of new versions of this book. Um, but I picked this one up because it was on um, sale on on discount on Amazon. So I'll be flipping that at some point. And then from Peachy Cheap, I picked up one of their collections. So um, this is Frosted Forest. So you get some die cuts in this package. Um, you get some enamel dots that match the colors. 
you get some more uh, frames and tags. You get these um, foam stickers. Um, and I picked this because I liked the coolness of the colors. And then you get your paper pack. I don't think I'm going to be as impressed with the colors of the papers. Um, at least not all of them. Um, but I did like the stickers. Um, I like the animals and the, um, pine cones and all that, that, that very cool winter look. Um, so we'll see what I make with this. Um, so hold on, let me grab something else that I purchased, um, from Michael's. So continuing on this haul, um, I placed one order from Michael's. I picked up this, um, What's the name of them again? Um, we are memory memory keepers button press. I used to have a button press. It was like a kid's one that I had purchased a long time ago for like five bucks. Um, I used it to make buttons for different craft shows. And then I don't know what happened to it. And then um, I bought the manual button maker. Um, I don't know what that is either. Um, so I was looking at this on Michael's a couple of months ago and it popped up in my feed as being on sale. So I decided to go ahead and get it because I can make um, three different sizes of buttons where I think the other button makers I had, I could only, one of them I could only make the smallest buttons and the other one I could only make the largest buttons, which um, the smallest ones you could use as pens or magnet, uh, magnets, and then the larger ones you can make mirrors. So um, that was part of the reason um, I wanted to purchase this. And then it comes with, I think, enough supplies to make 30 buttons. I think that's what it said when I looked at it. Yeah, so this... Um, enough to make 10 of each size. So I just went ahead and bought um, the button pieces um, so that I could have backup. So this is the large buttons. You can, there are 100, enough for 100 pieces and 100 buttons in here. Um, the medium size, the same is enough for 100 buttons and um, these small ones. And it might seem like overkill to buy them, but when I was making buttons, I did sell them at craft shows pretty easily. Um, and magnets as well. So um, they're like a good way to use up scrap paper, scrap stickers. Um, and um, yeah, so um, I remember going through my supplies pretty quickly when I was making them. So that's what I got from Michael's. Um, so let me move this. I wanted to share one more item. I actually got this in December, um, but I don't think I talked about it in my December haul because I think it came in right before Christmas. This was from Peachy Cheap. This is also a uh, We Are Our Memory Keepers um, tool this is a candle maker um i'm sure you're not getting the whole thing in the frame so hopefully you can see this part this um apparatus melts the candle wax so that you can um melt your candle wax do all your colors and pigments and then you open it up and it pours into the mold to make candles um, I purchased this partly because it was a really fantastic deal on Peachy Cheap. And then also, um, I was like, um, this is something I could use with other products. Like, it's not like I only can use it with We Are Memory Keepers, um, wax and things like that. I actually looked at a couple of videos before investing in it. 
Um, I felt like it was something that um, would come in handy because sometimes like part of the reason I don't do candles or wax tarts or things like that is because of the pain, the pain of cleaning up the wax. Um, but I was like, this is actually something where it is dedicated to melting the wax and I could kind of keep it for that purpose only. Um, so, um, it does give you enough supplies, I think, to make four candles or something like that. Um, so you get the candle maker, you get paraffin wax, you get, um, cotton wick, you get, um, a couple of candle molds, some wax pigment. Um, so it looks like two candle molds with a base and some wax pigment. Um, so I can experiment with this a little bit, see how it works, see if it's clunky and um, kind of go from there. So yeah, I think, I think that's it so far. So I guess I'll be back to talk about anything else that comes in during the month of January. I did forget a couple things. So um, I picked up this Ceramco white paint from Target uh, because I actually went to the thrift store and picked up a couple of items from the thrift store that I wanted to use this white paint to base them with. So let me go get those items and show you. All right, so some of you may have seen that there's a trend going around of people painting over old figurines like Precious Moments. So um, I've seen them. My grandma had uh, Precious Moments. My grandma Rosetta had Precious Moments. So every time I see one of those videos, it reminds me of her so I went to the thrift store and I went and I found some. Um, these were all less than $5. Um, so I just picked up a bunch of different ones that caught my eye. The store actually had a lot of them. Um, I did clean them since I brought them home, uh, which is it's funny, like they were dusty in the store and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upcycle you, I'm gonna hack you. And then when I cleaned them, I was like, do I want to? Because it just reminded me uh, my grandma um, but um, I picked up seven different figures um, so that's the first one um, I tried to pick ones that I didn't think would be hard to paint over um, um, or I thought I could change their theming a little bit um, I only picked this little small one because I thought she was pretty. Um, I didn't realize this one had iridescent until I cleaned it off. Um, this one reminded me of a Pop Mart figurine. That was why I picked this one up. Um, let's see. So... And then this one I didn't realize was broken until I actually got it home. So this one I would have to build something to replace um, the hen that actually sat in that um, section. Um, because I went and I looked it up and it was a hen that sat there. I was thinking about taking some clay and building um, a well and then have her hold a coin like it's a wishing well that that was a thought um, since this one is broken this will probably be the one that I hack first because it is broken and I have um, less to worry about as far as ruining something um, I think the biggest concern I have about hacking these are the eyes because you know, one of the things about painting over the eyes, it's hard to repaint them the same way. Um, so I've been debating whether or not I want to mask the paint that's there, use like a masking medium to paint, to um, mask out the eyes and then paint around them, or just um, try to replicate the eyes as they are now. Um, so I'm probably going to take some detailed pictures of these before I start painting them. 
Um, yeah, so um, that was part of the reason I bought um, the cream coat so that I could do a base coat before I paint over them. Um, so that was that with these characters. I can't believe they're still wet. I washed them a couple of days ago, but they are dripping a little bit. Um, but um, before anyone says, oh my God, they're precious moments and they're like collectibles and you shut and hack them. They, they were sitting in a thrift store. Um, I, I'm going to have fun playing with them. Um, it's still dripping. I'm going to have fun playing with them and maybe some of them I won't paint over. Um, but for now, yeah, this, this is something I'm probably going to do. Just, just make peace with it. If, if, if you're concerned about the precious moments being painted over, then go to the thrift store and save them. Um, but that's, that's what I'm going to do with them. All right. I have something else from the thrift store. Um, that I planned on um, upcycling. Let me go get that as well. So one thing that I do um, give breathe new life into often are old board books, children's board books. Um, so I usually buy them excuse me, at the thrift store because they usually, by the time they get to the thrift, thrift store, they're really well loved. <laughs> um, and um, I don't feel guilty about changing them. So they usually wind up becoming something brand new. So this time around, I try to pick board books that had particular features, um, whether it was that they were larger, like this Olivia book is a little larger than the average board book. Um, as you can tell, it's been loved. Some of the pages are peeling up um and things like that um and um i turned them into a mixed media project um actually i'm trying to remember why i think this was the same thing that it was a different particular size um and then i tried to pick some that had unique details so like this baby color book had little tabs that opened up which I felt like that would give me an opportunity to be a little more creative in how I altered them. Um, so these tend to turn into a altered book type of mixed media project. So like I said, this time I tried to pick some books that had um, different kind of features to them. So like tabs or pullouts so this book had um, pullouts, a lot, a lot of them were missing. Um, so some of the pages didn't have the pullouts anymore. So, um, and then some of the pages did. So what I'm gonna do is take one out and use it as a template to replace all of them. Um, so, that was the particular detail on that one. And then this one, it was that there were jigsaw pieces inside the book uh, that came out. And again, I felt like this offered an opportunity for me to be a little creative in how I alter the book. Um, so you may ask like, how do I alter the book? Um, so using scrap of paper, stickers, um, different kind of die cuts. Um, so to, I usually like pick a theme and you do that throughout the book. So like I've done like a C theme, um, and added places where people could journal inside of it if that's what they wanted to do. Um, I picked this one cause it had like the little see-through places um, and I figured it could be an interesting way um, to do um, little scenes within those little dots on each page so this one may take me a little more time to think about how I want to line up the pages 
and the artwork within it. Um, but I found that to be interesting. And then this last book, um, again, has some fold out pages and things like that that I thought could be interesting to alter and make them a little bit different than what they are. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do with these. Um, so um, like I said, I when I do these kind of projects, I always go to the thrift store and um, find some things. It's like upcycling something that has been well loved. So each of these books at the thrift store I went to were 75 cents. Um, so, um, and um, like I said, they've all been well loved. You can see that there's rips and things like that. Um, if you are not into altering books, you can also repair the books if you like to, if you wanted to pass it on to someone. Um, you could take the story that's already there and alter it a little bit. That's also a thought. Um, and just make it more personalized if you like wanted to update it for a child friend. Um, so um, again, that's it for now and I'll be back. All right, I think I'm going to wrap up my January haul here. Like I said, I didn't think January was going to be too crazy. So it's a little random, these last couple of items. Um, I picked up this, um, what is it? In the Land of the Oz blind box. Um, I had bought one of these um, a while ago. It's Monologue in the Land of Oz, I believe. I bought one of these a while ago. So I have... I think I might have a mystery character um, from this collection. Either that or I have um, Dorothy. Um, but I decided to pick up one more um, because I really did like um, what it looked like. So I picked one of these. Um, I got some more... Um, he's a roller i bought these during one of prime sales it was on um oh my god my brain is going blank um reship on amazon but i forgot about it. i haven't even really used the first box i think i used maybe one of the rollers um so i don't think i've used it enough to form an opinion um so i did let it renew um probably not going to let it renew again if I haven't had a chance to really play with this um, but that's that um, let's see Peachy Cheap had some stickers on sale so I got these different ones from their garden party so these um, are different die cuts and foil and vellum pieces and we have a sticker book here, which is eight sheets of stickers. We have some paper clips here. Um, some little enamel type of dots. Some more stickers in that theme. Some larger, thicker stickers. In the garden party theme. Um, there was no paper in this set. It really was just embellishments. Um, and I have forgot I ordered this and it was sitting on my countertop for a couple of days because I was trying to remember what it was. Um, but that's that. And then um, I bought this label maker. This was about 20 bucks on Amazon. I also ordered some extra label tape. Um, I purchased this because my batteries exploded in my brother. And I'm not sure where my Dymo is. Um, and these, um, you can connect to your phones 
through Bluetooth so that you can print things out. Um, so I, I kind of tested it with my daughter. It was pretty simple to set up and get going. Um, so you could just charge it. So I was like, this way I don't have to buy batteries. It also connects with my phone so I can use it that way. And I can probably, if it's Bluetooth compatible, I probably could pair it with my Mac as well. So I haven't had a chance to do that, but it is paired with my phone. So I can print out different labels. Um, let me see if I can. Are there are any previews of what that looks like. So... I know I printed something out with a little icon on it for my daughter, something with her name, and it was like a little icon on it. And I know a lot of journal people are using these. Um, so this one to cut off the icon. Um, so I, like I said, I figured rather than buying another brother where my issue with the brothers, I have to buy tape and batteries all the time. And like I said, the batteries exploded in it. I said, maybe I'll just go this route instead. So that was something. It was a quick purchase. Um, these both were influenced by Instagram. So I bought the Mean Girls pilot g2 premium gel roller kit um i'm not a big mean girls fan but i am a pilot g2 fan so when i saw these in an instagram ad i decided that i had to have them so there are different shades of pink i will swatch them at some point and a gray pen and a black pen i will swatch them on the channel at some point these were not cheap, um, but I just decided that I wanted them. It is eight pens, fine point, um, 0.7 millimeters. Um, again, Pilot G2s are some of my favorite gel pens, so I expect that I'll like the way that these write. It just comes down to do I like the ink color. Um, the other thing influenced by Instagram ad were these matte hop um, Pentel markers um, so there's um, they come in original and sweet so this is a combination pack of both so you get 14 markers I think well markers are they markers um, I'm trying to think like I guess you would say they are markers yes with a matte finish um, we'll see when we swatch these out what they really perform like. Um, so you have 14 colors in there, like I said, original and the sweet set. And I'll swatch these at some point. But this was an Instagram ad that caught my eye and I just decided to buy my Amazon. And then the last thing was not something I purchased, but it was actually a gift to me. Uh, my mom bought this for me. It is a Roll Life book nook. I've been looking at these forever, wanting one, um, and have just not pulled the trigger. And my mother was trying to figure out what to get me for Christmas and, you know, chatted with my daughter who said, Mom really wants this. She just hasn't bought it yet. Um, so... Uh, and she's wanted it for a long time so my mom sent this over to me um, and because my daughter loves knows I love sakuras or cherry blossoms um, she made sure my mother picked up the right one um, so this also lights up um, I have to get two AAA batteries for it um, but yeah I've been I've been looking at this for a long time so I was excited to see it um, in the mail from my mother so um, this will probably be one of my spring projects it will be a spring afternoon of putting this together so I'm looking forward to that so that is I guess the only other thing would be this random alcohol pads that I got from Marty Marty is a 
online supermarket but I saw these and I thought these would be good in different um, projects not just for home stuff but also for times when I'm working with different things where I want to clean my hands or clean off a project really well um, so yeah that's that's the last random thing I mean I did also buy some rubber gloves from ShopRite but that's about it um, I think that's it for January like I said wasn't doing a lot of buying um, I did take advantage of the planners sale which happens in late January so that'll probably be in my February haul um, as I mentioned before on my channel you'll probably see some toy related hauls as we go along um, because I may be adding some of that to my channel so you may see some of that happening as well um, which is why I showed you the blind box in this video um, but other than that, as always, thank you for spending time with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.